This game is T and is not suitable for kids. I seriously can't believe this one path, because this is not leading to the Komura route. I cannot get the Komura route anymore. And nor do I think I can even get the Nagisa route. But this is all just so you can have Akio play basketball. I have no idea how anyone found this. Yeah, morning. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I had fun doing that anyway. <laughs> and my dad wants us to work again because we made way more profit than we usually do. See you again at lunch. Hi. We split up once we reach the classrooms. Just as lunch break starts, Sunahara shows up to school. Ugh. Yeah, I know, but... Gotta love how Sunohara hasn't spent any time with his sister. Dying of fire. We've already, we've already seen this before. メイちゃんですかうん。いえ、お店を手伝っていただいたり、とても助かっています。こちらが申し訳なく思うぐらいです。ま、そういうところに関しては心配する必要もなかったな、あいつは。はい、とてもいい子です。ギブ<笑><
Okay, so Nagisa's looking at which would you be good enough for the team? But with May around, you can't practice, right? Yeah, this is where things are getting different. Listen, you. Like I've told you, I don't know how many times already. If one person on the team can't play, it's not going to work. All that means is that you'll get tired twice as fast. Yeah, your lungs aren't even pink. Okay, this is the... Yes! This is the difference. If we make her practice, she'll be on the team. If we have her play with Mei-chan, then we get Akio. Uh, you don't have to bother. Go have fun with Mei-chan tomorrow. It's fine. I was wondering if we were going to be able to ask Mei to join. <laughs> I'll give up on trying to win, because Mei was good at baseball. It's a way to kill time. I just need to focus on having fun. I've decided to change my approach to the match. But you'd better play as, as hard as you can the day of the game to make up for it. She's planning on taking shots? Well, I guess that's fine too. Let's see if she can. Yeah, bye. With Nagisa gone, it's now just me and Sunohara alone. Are you talking about Mei-chan? She's come to check up on you, hasn't she? You've got grown pretty cynical, haven't you? あの邪魔も何もないだろ。現に今なぎさちゃんと遊んでるわけだし。少しでも心配してたら今一緒にいるはずだろ。ま、いたらいたで。うっとしくてたまらないんだけどね。Look at your face in the mirror. I want her to come is written all over it. 違う。本当にうっとしいだけなんだよ、あいつは。Yeah, yeah. 軽く流すな。but she may rush to see you once she, she's done playing with Nagisa. You never know. Knock, knock. Looks like we have a guest. That doesn't sound like Mei. Sunohara and I look at each other's faces. Look who's come to see you. Desperately trying to hide the big smile growing on his face, Sunohara stands up and opens the door. That was me. That didn't sound like Mei. It sounded like someone holding their nose, pretending to be Mei. Mei-chan's eyes flip past Sunohara and for some reason stop on me. Eh? Me? Wow. <laughs> Poor guy. Sunohara is now walking past his sister with a vacant expression on his face. Oh. His shoulders suddenly start to tremble. And he ends up running away crying. Never mind, he always goes out like that. Don't just stand there, come in and take a seat. She walks towards me, then sits down right in front of me. Oh no, I should have made Sunohara make our tea before letting him go. Nah, it's fine. So, what do you want to talk about? Okay. Heh, <laughs> so you're worried about him after all. But I don't think there's anyone out there who can be a good match. Where? Eh? I lock eyes with her. Sunohara and Mei-chan. The forbidden love between siblings. What? No, I don't... I don't... No, what? <laughs> why are we getting a fan? Uh, why are we getting a dream sequence of this? Oh no, is this gonna go into really icky territory? Oh, 
それでね私の中でねどんどんお兄ちゃんの見方が変わっていったの、no, no. そうか少しは尊敬できる兄になったかうん尊敬はできないけど、oh, no. なんだよでもお兄ちゃんが、oh, no. uh, トモヤ you are messed up bro れるようになったよ Oh crap I'm getting excited already Oh he is very messed up 変な想像してません But think about it. You and Sunohara? How can I not feel excited? Oh, Tomoya, bro. Bro. You've got massive issues. Nah, that's exactly the reason. Oh, I, wow, I can't believe that's the takeaway she came from that. Yeah, to be honest, it's pretty close. Ugh. It's scary how she says that to me with a smile. Yeah, my bad. Then that means you were talking about me? Wait, me? Listen, Sunohara, we've, are we getting the gay scenario again? <laughs> That's two times too many. Ever since I started visiting this room, I began to think a great deal about you. Fiends, I couldn't think of, of about other guys. After that, you know, inside of me, the way I look at you began to change more and more every day. No, I can't feel proud about you. But I started feeling like... I want to run the route to school backward every morning with you in underwear. What? Gross. <laughs> oh crap! I'm going to cry now! Not to mention what's so good about running that shitty route backward! <laughs> but think about it. Sunohara and me? How could I not cry imagining that? Bro, you were the one who were all over him in one route. Granted, I'm pretty sure that's because aliens lobotomized you. But still. <laughs> Nah, that's exactly the reason. No, not that genre. Well, to be honest, I'm not so confident when it comes to that field of science. I don't either. Isn't that what you said? You wanted to be the Cupid for Sunohara, right? Wow! How should I know? Then between whom and whom do you want to become the Cupid for? But we're already together! Sorry? Listen. I'm already going out with her, don't you know that? So I don't need a Cupid, do I? That's unexpected, coming from a girl younger than I am. Being at a loss for words, I start to sink into my thoughts. Are Nagisa and I acting that unnaturally as a couple to her? Well, she stayed up all night talking with Nagisa, and Nagisa was so sleep-deprived that she told her everything, so... Dunno. It's our intention to let it flow naturally, though. Is that so? No, no, they, they don't have to. It's fine, because we're a rural couple. That's just not true. That might be true. Did she tell you that? Well, there's a lot to be bothered about. From there, it's just her speculation, right? This is getting fishier and fishier. To me, it looks like you're just into that sort of topic. Thank you for your unneeded kindness. 
れはお礼ですこちらで楽しくさせていただいてるもし私なんかの力で2人 Is this actually going on the Nagisa route? Hang on a second. I might actually be going on the Nagisa route instead. Hmm. I just, I'm looking at the Nagisa route because this might actually be the path to the Nagisa route. Okay, no, I think I, I think this is actually going on the Nagisa route. Do wow, okay, so I haven't started the Komura route, but I'm getting ready to start the Nagisa route. Great, okay. You know what, I'm actually okay with that. You're good with your words, aren't you? In that case, I have to bow down to your acting ability, too. Let's see. She tends to belittle herself too much. It would help if she could be more confident in herself. I don't mind even if she becomes a narcissist. Maybe that would be just right. Like, I'm incredibly cute, so I can do anything I want. That much. Hold on. What the heck am I saying? Let her do it or stop her. <laughs> stop her. You don't have to do that. I'm fine with the way Nagisa is right now. More than enough for me. I don't want her to become a narcissist? Well, I wouldn't deny it. I already said that you don't have to. If you have time to do something like that, go play more. You can take Nagisa around with you tomorrow. There isn't much in this town, but go make some good memories between the two of you. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, be careful on your way. She stands up, bows to me slightly, and leaves the room. But into the afternoon, I can no longer resist turning my feet toward the bakery, Furukawa Bakery. Sup. Inside the store, I can see Sanai-san, along with a customer. Two ladies, turn and greet me. Um, is Nagisa here? Getting ready? Is she making preparations to go out with me? Probably not. The female customer looks at me and asks, Eh? Yes, I am. Yes, but we're in different classes. Yeah, she's doing fine. We've seen this before. Noticing my confused expression, Sanai-san extends her hand and introduces the woman. Ah, thank you. I'm Okazaki. Are you a teacher at my school? Ah, you must have been Nagisa's teacher during her first year. Still with a smile, Ibuki turns back to Sanai-san. Nagisa-chan 
Nagisa, Sugoku Gambatter and this year? At what? Get called Menkui Sanan this net. This atmosphere is getting a bit too much. Tomoya Kundesco? Yapari Tomoya Kundesa. Who has our Sriba? This net? Nagisa, Konichiwa. Sensei, I rush I must have this. Joe, Kako, you or Tokonoko the day to this car? We've seen this dialogue before. Yeah, she starts to dwindle. I said, can't really hear the last part. Without me? Oh well, it's fine. You'll have more fun without a guy around anyway. You two girls go for it. Stop with that topic right now. Well, I should get going. Okay, well, this seems different. As we leave the store, Nagisa looks back at the entrance as if wanting to say something. What's wrong? Yeah, we've seen this before. Eventually, the sun sinks below the horizon and nighttime begins. Oh. なごりをしいですね。メイちゃんは何だかずっと家族だった気がしてます。don't you have any friends? She's probably way too mature for everyone else. The pair who have been together for longer than anyone else in the last few days are holding hands. After a moment of gazing into each other's eyes... What? Mei-chan suddenly raises her voice and asks... Oh, it's like what the French do. Mechan moves her hands around Nagisa to hug her tightly, then presses her face to her cheek. Now she's even stroking the bigger girl's head. Just look at Nagisa. Her face is all red after Mechan lets go of her. Standing up straight, Mechan sweeps her eyes across everyone's face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come again, but don't skip school. The girl keeps looking back to us while waving her hand until her image is blurred into the twilight. She must be heading to Sunahara's room. Nagisa and I have decided it'd be best to leave the siblings alone, at least during the last few hours before they have to part. Okay, she is at least going to have one-on-one -on -one time with Sunahara. That's good. It'd be hilarious if she just went straight home now, though. Why not get down to work selling them in the first place? It's sort of amazing how the store can last with these two as the management. And now that those two have gone inside the store, only Nagisa and I are left to stand in the dim twilight. We're just standing still, close to each other in silence. Nagisa takes a step forward, eliminating our previously short distance. And her hand rises to hold mine. <laughs> Maybe this is all thanks to Mei-chan. Because she's never reached out to me like this. <laughs> yeah? What is it, Nagisa? We're calling out each other's name. We've never gotten into such an intimate mood before. <laughs> Just like this, the two of us will. <laughs> What did you say? 
<laughs> Sup, Mirko. So, what you've missed. Uh, at the end of last stream, we were kind of going towards the Komora route. This stream, I discovered you can basically get, like, every character in the game on your basketball team. So, I was just trying to do that to see all the basketball games. Turns out, in order to get Akio on your team, I had to go start a new file and change one, like, decision that I made to actually talk with Mei Sunohara. So, that way, she'll come visit. And we just had a lot of dialogue. She just left. She and Nagisa basically became besties. And now, hopefully, we can get Akio on our basketball team. And then I'm ending the stream after that. <laughs> but welcome! Glad you're here! I haven't heard anything like that from him. Not to mention, how could such a topic come up amidst all this nice atmosphere between us? So, we were thinking about totally different things. You've been playing a lot of Corpse Party the last few days and weeks? I've heard about that game. I will not be playing it myself because it seems like it's going to be way too violent and, like, crazy for me. But I've heard it's good. So, shouldn't he be talking with Mei-chan right now? In the end, Nagisa will probably be just Nagisa forever. Oh, you couldn't hear what I said properly? Were you talking about when I was mentioning Corpse Party or when I was mentioning the, what we were doing on the stream? Because what we're doing on the stream is we're going to get Akio to play basketball with us. And that's literally it. <laughs> this better... This better result in Akio coming to the rescue. If not, I truly don't know what to do. Okay, this is new. Nagisa is seated on the other side of the court. What is that girl doing? Could she have been pushed over when jockeying for position with another player? Are you okay, Nagisa? I walk over to her and hold out a hand. What I missed was about Corpse Party. Oh, I was just saying I've heard about Corpse Party. I've heard it's pretty good. It's not something that I personally would play just because it seems like it would be really, really violent. Just from what I've heard. She takes my hand and stands up. But then she staggers for a moment before embracing me. What's the matter? Okay, so she is... She is playing basketball with us, not Akio. Nagisa isn't letting go of my hand. Did you hurt your foot? Stand up straight. She lets go of my hand. After grimacing for a moment, she immediately takes my hand again. Not on that foot. It's fine. You can just watch. She's right. There isn't enough time to find a replacement. And we're using Nagisa in the first place because there was no one else we could ask. I guess we can't continue. There isn't much time left either. I figure we've done enough. You did good. Yeah. Losa. Here we go. Suddenly I hear a voice coming from above us. Everyone looks up. Up on the beams of the roof, we see the figure of a man. Is he thinking of jumping down from that distance? Just as the thought occurs to me, he walks along the beam and slides up to the wall. After using the curtains to descend from the second floor to the gym, he finally jumps down to the first. Ew. Yeah, he's just about the only person I can see doing something like this. Liar. <laughs> so he's just gonna be like, you guys suck. Let me show you how you play basketball. 
てめえはもういい休んでよおいこぼう残り時間は About three minutes or so <laughs> よし俺を助っ人に使えその三分で逆転だ<laughs> Are you being serious? The basketball team quickly agrees to let the old man help us. The point differences between our two teams is big enough already, and they probably weren't getting much out of playing against a team with a girl on it. But still, I wonder how good the old man really is. I've never heard that he's particularly great at basketball. Oh, and just like that, he loses both of his shirts. Could you at least throw that cigarette away first? He did! The old man tosses the ball into play. I quickly take it and return it back to him. I set a screen open to open up a path for him. The old man takes the opening and rushes in. But I can only keep one defender back. The other two gather under the basket. He's fast! He passes through the space between the two defenders before they can cut him off. Their only option left is to try to grab his clothes, but he even manages to shake that off and then jumps. It's like I'm watching a slow motion replay. The old man is walking through the sky. Clunk! The basket wobbles back and forth. Silence falls over the entire gym. The old man is hanging from the rim of the hoop. A beat passes and then the ball lands. As soon as it does, the crowd erupts and cheers. He's been playing NBA Street V2. A slam dunk. He's Nagisa's dad. <laughs> the other team is already on the attack. We each take our own assignments playing a man to man defense. Their ball handler isn't able to make any passes. This could work! Our entire team can play now. Not only that, our entire team consists of players with better than average athletic ability. The player with the ball gets away from the old man and quickly passes. Sunohara cuts it off, though. <laughs> you can buy pickles with that, Sunohara. He tosses the ball straight in. He's really trying for a come from behind victory. I suddenly start to feel motivated as if inspired by his presence. I start trying as I move around the court, too. The old man does a good job of attracting the other team's defense. We start focusing on giving Sunohara the ball, and he makes shot after shot. Every time I check the scoreboard, the point gap between our teams is smaller. The old man hits another dunk. I look at the scoreboard. Just as he said, we're now up by one point. The captain's enraged voice echoes through the building. I guess that would cause them to get serious. The match resumes. I can see why these guys are on the varsity team. They're on a different level. The body checks on the old man have also gotten harder. He's up against evenly matched opponents. Sunohara's shots are blocked time and time again. But for our part, we steal the passes, mostly thanks to the old man. Neither team scores as the seconds tick down. But then... As Sunohara's breathing gets more labored, the balance crumbles. One of their players brushes Sunohara aside and attacks the rim. Sunohara had been keeping up with him until now, but his legs can no longer move. He scores with a layup. They're back in the lead. How much time is left? Move, Sunohara! It's just 30 seconds! <laughs> Clatter, clatter. It looks like your knees are chattering. What about you, old man? But while he may say that, I can hear him breathing heavily. Too many cigarettes. He throws a leading inbounds pass. It's over if they manage to surround me. As soon as I secure the ball, I immediately lead off with two steps and leap toward the basket. He goes for a layup. Or at least I pretend to before tossing the ball behind me. I land, having brought the other team's defenders along with me. Sunohara is now in the air, having taken her place. He'd been left completely open. Her place? <laughs> there are no girls on the teams. The ball is floating in the air. He takes it one hand, and then it bounces off the backboard before swishing through the net. <laughs> Sunohara! <laughs> An opposing player runs behind Sunohara. Psh! He makes a perfect layup. <laughs> There's no time left! We'll get the ball to you and end it with your one last shot. Yeah, one second. Hey, old man. I grab his shoulder and pull him closer. Give him the last shot or I'll take the last shot. 
give it to him. I think giving the the teammate the last shot always results in a loss, though. Wow. We scatter across the court. If this first pass gets stolen, it's game over. The other team knows that, so they're playing even harder defense than normal. I dart around the court. A pass comes flying from the old man. I grab it with both hands, and then I immediately start to dribble and cut through the center. The other team acts like they've been taken by surprise. Up until now, only the old man and Sunohara have been moving into attack. One, two, layup! I see a shadow pass across my vision. I move the ball across my chest and then into my left hand. Then once again, I leave the ball floating in the air, trusting that Sunohara is behind me. Yes, stop! Sunohara's voice. I turn around to see that Sunohara is landing on the ground with the ball in his hands. Sunohara's defender quickly comes around to cover him. He fakes one way, then tosses the ball against the floor. It bounces high in the air. The old man grabs it as he runs forward. He shakes off his defender by force, and then he leaps. The player defending him jumps a beat behind him. He seems to realize that he won't make it in time, because he rams into the old man. It's a clear foul. The old man's posture crumbles in midair, and he's unable to reach the hoop. His only option is to throw the ball away a moment before he lands. Someone on the other team scoops it up. Just as they do, Time up. a voice announces our fate. Moments later, the basketball team is cheering with joy. Don't Sunohara. They won, so they're allowed to say whatever they want. We lost. We should resign ourselves to that fact. The crowd quickly starts to scatter. I notice the number of teachers heading our way, seemingly parting the crowd of students. They're probably the advisors for whatever clubs use the gym. Leading them is a Wu, the guidance counselor. Sinahara sprints for the emergency exit on the opposite side of the gym. Old man? He follows after him. I can't sit around either. Nagisa, we're leaving too. Can you run? Nagisa drags her feet as I hold her up and leave the gym. Okay, now we're gonna win. Oh yeah, we win the game and we get 100 yen in allowance. Everyone rushes toward me. We can just skip. Alright, see you later. He follows after him. I can't sit around either. Nagisa, we're leaving too. Yeah, alright. <laughs> That's all the basketball then. And I was planning on making this a slightly shorter stream than last week, because last week's stream went on way too long, so... Might as well make a save there. Cool, okay, well, we didn't get to do the Komura route at all, we just played a lot of basketball, and got part of Nagisa's route. <laughs> We've basically done, like, the opening to Komura's route and the opening to Nagisa's route. Next time, we're actually going to do the Komura route for real, and if we can finish it in time, we're going to start the Nagisa route officially. So, thanks all for joining. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great day, and God bless.